Hi everybody, I'm Kirsty Meekin and this is Neo Makeup. Today I'm going to show you how to create this gorgeous autumn look or autumnal, do they call it? Autumnal. Autumnal? Autumnal. Autumnal look or if you were in America, a fall look because the leaves are going to fall. But before you carry on, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and you can click the link here. Yeah? You can put it there, Adam. Oh, down there. Or is it there? Down, down there, you can click, click, <coughs> click on the subscribe button and don't forget to press the little ding dong, ding dong bell because then you'll get your notifications. And don't forget to check out our Neo Nails channel as well. So, next time you see me, I will have no makeup on. I'll make my apologies now. Sorry. Oh no, here I am. Bear to the world. No makeup, freckles, imperfections, everything. Okay, so we're going to do this autumn look. I'm going to put my hair behind my ears. That, do you like my new earrings that I had for my birthday off the girls at the salon? These are Vivian Westwood earrings. A bit posh. Nice to me like them girls at the salon. Anyway, okay, so we're going to do this look. So we're going to start with the hydrating gel from Il Illamasqui. Just going to put that quite thinly on my face. I don't want something too heavy. If Sometimes if you put primer on or anything like that that's too heavy, you then create another layer. And then when you put your foundation on, you create another layer. And we don't want to look like we have a caked face. I have a brew, because you know, I love a bit of tea. God, I'm so British, aren't I? I love a bit of tea. So, I have my usual foundation, Revlon Colour Stay. Two pumps of that, and start to dot it out on my face. Then we're gonna use a makeup brush to blend that. A little bit on my eyes. Some people like to do their eyes first, and then the foundation. I find that really weird <laughs> because I've had a go before and I just think well you've got to like put your foundation all the way around here like I it just I think this is a lot easier now we're gonna contour with the NYX sculpt and highlighter which I love so we're gonna contour obviously with the darker color so I'm putting it underneath because I want to shorten my chin slightly and I'm gonna go down the side of my nose. I'm not going to reapply this well I'm not gonna I'm not going to reload the brush because I don't want to put too much on because if you put too much contour down your nose you will end up looking like the tin man from yeah. Alison from um Where's the boss? Where's the boss? Gonna highlight jaw there. A little bit here. We're gonna go down the center of my nose and here. And the dog outside is loving us today. He's very barky. He's a bit barking. I'm gonna, of course, highlight under my eye. This is a complete must. So we're gonna take a makeup sponge. Onk, onk. I'm using the bigger part of the sponge to stipple and dab and blend that in. By adding that bit of contour there, it also sh shortens your forehead. So those of you with a big forehead, that's your little trick. I'll do under my eyes last. So I'm moving from the centre up and out in sort of a fan shape, right down the centre of my nose. And then under the eyes, I'm gonna make sure that I have my powder ready. So I've just got a translucent powder. 
which means it's not going to add any colour or anything like that, it's just going to seal. So I've emptied some of the loose powder into the lid, so I'm ready to pop that straight on. There's a reason I'm doing this. So I'm going to start to blend at the very point and the sort of middle section of the sponge and then I'm going to seal it straight away. So I've just bashed off any excess and I'm going to seal that. The reason I do that is because if I leave it, I will start to get creases and then when I seal it, I'll just seal in creases that will just make my eyes look terrible. So I'm going to do the same again. Now I haven't put a massive amount of powder on there. You can see that I went into the powder and knocked off the excess. One thing that I am going to look at now before I seal anywhere else is I have slightly darker freckles around my mouth. Sometimes I have a few little spots. And then we're going to set. I'm going to set it all with the loose powder. So I just tapped it first to seal it and to basically apply the powder and then by wiping over very softly with the sponge all it's going to do is take off any excess and give you a smooth finish. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some powder contouring and I'm going to use my sleek little palette that I have. I've had it that long that I've broke it, but that's how good it is. That's how long it lasts. I'm going to use this stiff, pinched brush and I'm going to go into powder and I'll knock off any excess. Don't worry too much about making it perfectly blended just yet. I'm trying to just get most of the product on. And I'm going to turn the brush so I've gone from this to this and that'll start to blend. We'll do the same on this side. Oh my God. Then we're going to use a bronzer. So this is just a H&M bronzer, but it's actually one that I really like. I thought they discontinued it at one point and I nearly had a heart attack, but they just changed the packaging. Now this brush doesn't belong to me. When we went out for my birthday, my friend left this in a bag and I was like, oh, I didn't think I should tell her about that. <laughs> So, thanks Tammy. <laughs> it's a lovely brush. So I'm gonna pop some on, knock some off, pop it on, knock it off, pop it on, knock it off. And we're gonna go over my cheeks, just to add a bit of bronze. And the same here, all right, along the jawline. This is obviously going to blend your contouring even more as well. It's going to make me look a little bit browner than I am. And then we need to take that down. I love this brush, Tammy. <laughs> She's so going to kill me. She had some like Tom Ford bronzer as well. I was like, ooh, check you out with you, Tom Ford bronzer. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, can't I use my bronzer? She was like, hey, you can't contaminate my brush with, with your cheap H&M stuff. It, it can only put that brush into the Tom Ford. At least you won't want it back. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to blend over my nose a little bit as well. Now I'm going to use some Illa Masker in Excite, which is a gorgeous coral colour. I just love it. I feel like I could just rub it all over my nose. <laughs> that might look a bit weird though. So I'm going to put some on and I'm going to knock it off. You need the tiniest amount of this, literally just on the apples. Now we're going to do eyebrows. I've got my NYX eyebrow pencil, which is fatter on one side. So you can see there it's pinched, which means you can use it thickly or thinly. So that'd be the thin, that'd be thick. And we're gonna put it on thick and we're always gonna, always gonna start doing the eyebrows from the center of the eyebrow outwards. So it came for the Scouse brow look here. Uh, I don't know if everybody knows what a Scouse brow is. Is that a technical term? That is like, yeah, if, we're, if you're in America, you probably don't know, you don't know what a Scouse brow is. 
Um, if you come from Liverpool, you are a Scouser because um, of how you talk. I need to try to do a Liverpool accent now, don't I really? Um, well, to be fair, you're nearly there, aren't you? I, I know I do sound a little bit Liverpoolian, <laughs> but I'm not. I can't do I'm trying to think how they do it. <laughs> hey, hey, calm down, calm down. Chicken. 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 Do you know, I remember going out in Liverpool one night and I was really drunk and we went to get takeaway after and I just kept saying, Chicken, I want some chicken, I do. <laughs> Come on, all lad, give us some chicken. Oh, it's boss, that is. <laughs> so that, that's what somebody from Liverpool talks like. So uh, they're all going to hate me now. Girls and girls in Liverpool have scouse brows. So they have big brows. Do you know what? I love big brows. And so does the whole world at the minute, so quite good. <laughs> I'm going to do the same on this one. Everyone's going to hate me, aren't they? <laughs> We're going to get so many bad comments saying, but you don't talk like that. Oh yes, you do. Right, I'm going to now fill in this section with my itsy bitsy teeny weeny micro brow pencil from NYS. I'm just going to do little lines as if they are hairs and then we're also going to go around the edge. It's really difficult to do to do this sort of neatening up with a larger pencil. In my Illamasqua palette that I use a lot I absolutely love. This brush has got a slanted brush on. It's quite fluffy. It's not really stiff. I'll show you the difference between a couple of them that I've got. We have quite a fluffy one. And we have one that's a lot more thinner, which is gonna give you more refined lines. And this one is just really to put colour on. It's not to perfect, if that makes sense to you. And I'm literally just dotting it over that section there because I want it to be quite light. I don't want it to completely sort of disappear to nothing because that looks really strange on my face. Um, you could completely make that really, really pale and have the whole ombre eyebrow thing. Um, but I need a little bit of colour just there. But then we are going to use now the other brush. So we're going to go straight into this dark one first. This is my darkest brown that I've got. So we're going to go into that. Just knock off any excess onto the mirror. And then we're going to go right at the end here. So we've got this ombre eyebrow going on, but it's not really extreme. And then we're going to go into this medium brown here. And what it's going to do is just seal the pencil, it's going to make it last longer. I'm going to use the colour staff. So sponge applicator, literally just here and here. My eyes are quite close together. So I always have to generally lighten this area here. I'm going to highlight just under my brow. I'm not going to go all over my complete eyelid. I'm literally going underneath here. We're going to use these colours. So we're going to use these purples and we're also going to use this rusty colour as well. I've got a fluffy slanted brush. I love this brush. I had it forever and forever and ever. And we're going to use this. It's like a mauve colour. Do you know, know what mauve is? is. I, th I think it's a mauve colour. I think that's mauve. If I've got it wrong, please comment and tell me what colour that actually is. I mean, on the back it's got a list of colours, but I don't know which one it is. It might be wolf, it might be forgiveness. I have no idea which one that is, because I don't think they're in order. But anyway, I'm going to use this 
mauve color coming from the outside and and we're going to come over the eye about three quarters of a way sometimes people get a bit afraid to wear you know like a purpley color on their eye because they think oh, i'm going to look like i have a black eye don't be afraid try it out i'm going to make sure i've got no powder that's foul onto my cheek i'm going to use this brush same color going underneath and then we're going to go into the darker purple then with this brush, the slanty brush, I'm going to blend that. So you can see how we smoked that eye completely now with those colours. We're going to do, do exactly the same on this eye. So you can see the difference between putting the darker purple on and having no dark purple. So a little bit more purple there just to make them look more equal. There's nothing worse than your eyes being a little bit odd. Now what we're going to do is use this rusted colour. So this one here, I'm literally going to add a little bit under the eye. And we're going to add it here. With the super cover makeup, these are my shimmery creams. Let me just show you this. Like, oh my god, just look at that. Control it on the back of your hand. Load your brush. Check what the brush gives you before you put it on. See? Make sure you're not putting too much on or too little. And you're going to put that right on the top of the lid here, same both sides. I'm going to clean that brush that I've just used just on a makeup wipe. So I'm going to use the same brush and then we're going to use the gold and that's going to go just here to highlight a little bit you don't need a massive amount it's really pigmented I'm going to use Bella Masca's Epic which is a gorgeous bronzer I'm told that Beyonce wears this I'm not lying that's why I got it of course obviously because you know <laughs> Bernie Beyonce I am so I'm going to take that, not a massive amount, I'm going to check it on the back of my hand and literally run that onto my cheek. I'm not putting it high up, we're not highlighting with it, we're just adding a little bit of shimmer on the cheek. Some of this, epic. Right at the top here, giving the brush really flat. You're not putting a massive amount on, you're just adding that little bit of shimmer. Right, I'm going to do some eyeliner just here using my usual super fat eye marker. It's not a sharpie. I'm going to shake it down to load the tip. Okay, you can, see, can you see how wet that is now? So that's really loaded. I'm going to go right on the lash line. And come up. Same on this eye. I'm completely stretching my lid out so I get a smooth line. I'm going to seal that with black on my Illamasqua palette. That's going to make the eyeliner stay on for longer it's going to make it darker now i'm going to put my mascara on and you know i love to use two mascaras because one would just be quite normal um so i've got my revlon all in one and then i've got my cheapy one my collection and it's so good because it's got a big fat brush 
This Revlon one has got a tiny brush, so it's really short and I can get right to the root. Now, because I've got really fair eyelashes, this is really good to cover those and make them black. And then we're going to use the big fat mascara brush and we're going to go from root to tip. So before I was concentrating on the root, now I'm going from root to tip. I'm going to do the bottom lashes. And then same on this eye. I'm <laughs> doing the face. The mascara face, oh God. One last thing on the eyes. I'm going to use Wonder pencil. It's basically a very light cream colour and I'm going to go on the inside of my waterline which is going to open my eye up. Now I'm going to work on my lips. I'm going for a dark lip because we are doing an autumn look. So I'm going to line my lip first. This is a Maybelline pencil. So I'm going to start with the cupid's bow and come down. I'm going to fill in here. Just slightly show up when the lipstick goes on. And I'll say here. Then, I've never never wore this before. Somebody's given me this to wear. It's a 24 hour stay one that you, it's a bit like a matte, long lasting lip gloss. Well, lip gloss, but you'll go matte. I've had a little play with it. Let's have a look. And I want that to dry. And I'm going to do the top lip. Look, I can't hear and talk. There you are, that's the autumn look finish for you. Hope you like it, have a little go, see what you think. Hope you like my eyes and my, my dark lips. So I want to go out now. Who's going to take me out? Come on, someone needs to take me out now. Gonna use. Oh, I keep touching you. I keep touching you. <laughs>